From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. I'm Chuck Long and glad you've joined us for a special edition of Out and About Today. As we continue to celebrate our 18th season, we welcome back one of our very favorites. One of country music's most dynamic and groundbreaking artists, Ty Herndon is a Grammy-nominated chart-topping artist with four number one singles and numerous top ten hits, who recently released his most personal project to date. The album is called Jacob and it doesn't shy away from the Dove Award-winning singer's past addiction to crystal meth sexual trauma, and his battle with mental illness. It's been said that Jacob chronicles new parts of Herndon's life never before shared and shows the breakthrough that he's made to become the artist he is today. From Jacob, here's a preview of Ty's latest, God or the Gun. It was never gonna win cause I was always gonna rise up I didn't know how strong I was More than bones, more than blood I was face down in the darkness By myself I couldn't change it But there are powers we don't know When we think we're all alone And when there's nowhere, nowhere left to run Is it God or the gun? Well, my friend, welcome to the Hello. show. I'm glad I'm still a favorite. Oh, my gosh, you always will be. <laughs> well, we've been friends a long time. So we really have. You're my, one of my favorites, too, my friend. I tell you, Ty, we were just talking. You talk about a journey. Um, you know, we've both had some things in similar, and I'm not making this about me at all, but when I moved to Nashville and was doing Crook and Chase, and, and you were breaking, and you were the hot thing in country music, and, and you were the label <laughs> that I was covering, and so we got right. to know each other. But we were both closeted at the yeah. time. Nobody knew. I think you, like a lot of gay men, we sensed, but we didn't say anything. You just kind of swept it under the rug. So yeah. looking at that journey, um, and you've gone through so much, but kind of how do you feel your start and what you had to hide has affected you throughout the career? Well, there's a big word we use in recovery. It's called trauma. And that's the one thing that kind of gets put to the back seat, so the back of the theater sometimes. Uh, so I had to kind of slow down and figure out what was going on with me. And there were just things that, there was so much trauma that I had not dealt with. And a lot of times it's very little about the drugs and alcohol. It's just about what's going on with your heart and your, your body. Yeah, it just, you're just, you're mentally unstable. And you, you're kind of walking around not even knowing that. I mean, I made it to 59 years old and had no idea that I was manic bipolar depressive. I'm like, what is that? It sure did fit. But you guys have seen the movie Silence of the Lambs. You know, it's kind of like or flight of the bumblebee, that was all going on. Right. And to have the opportunity, I spent four months working on, on my, my, my psychic ability to be okay. And that's some deep diving. <laughs> and um, a lot of EMDR, um, it, it just, just going way back and, and, and healing, changing your ending, really. That's what this whole idea came from. And um, it had so much to do with where I was, where, where, the, where the dirt roads took me that just finally was a dead end. And um, it's, just, it's just so good to <laughs> know, I, I, I preach this now, that there is, um, there is a light at the end of every darkness. And sometimes you can't even see it, it's, it's seen for you. It's like in God of the Gun, you know, there, there's, 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 there's angels, there's good energies out there. I believe that more than ever now. Absolutely, and I, I've heard you say too that um, the drugs and alcohol sometimes people just associate that with uh, mental health mm -hmm. and mental issues and that sort of thing. But not necessarily. I mean, that's not always the case. Right. They can be totally separate. It, it's according to the person, really. You know, uh, for me, I said this and got some criticism about it, but it's true. It, it, sometimes it's just a medicine for me to feel better. If you go into the dark, if that kind of darkness brings a little bit of light, and that's really dark. And you just can't see it. You don't know until you get there. <laughs> That's never my radio single. <laughs> and and talking about relapse or the drugs or whatever you know the situation. Um, and I know it's hard, but you you got to a place. And I heard you say this on the Tamron Hall show. But mm -hmm. um, you got to a place. In fact, you were here talking with us at that t same time when you and Kristen released uh, your your single for um, yeah. uh, the uh, Christmas CD, Regifted. And 
it was just about three weeks after that you found your plate yourself at the lowest place that mm -hmm. you've ever been. Yep. So was it just about masking things at that time? Um, if, if I had to tell you one thing about that time, I was in such a um, cocoon of, of just blank that I was kind of a walking zombie. You know, I knew how to go through the motions. I've done that my whole career. And I know how to put a smile on, you know, when you're, when you're dying, you know, a million deaths inside. Um, and just losing hope, but afraid to let anybody know that about you because you feel like you're, you have to be strong for so many other people. Um, I, it, was a, it was a really poorly built bridge and it was about to fall. Um, but I, uh, I was so peaceful. Um, on one morning, you know, I'd, I just, it made a lot of sense to me not to be here anymore. There had to be something better. And I mean, I was actually feeling kind of good about it when I think back on it, you know. Um, but that wasn't my destiny, man. You know, it, music is me. And I made, even made a decision to get out of music. That, that was, I remember doing this, the song with Christian thinking, it's probably the last time I'll be in the studio. You know, I'm gonna really do this really good. Wow, wow. Yeah, so just, uh, that is mental illness. It's stinking thinking at its, at its, at its best. Right. Um, I've been so grateful to uh, work with a team of people in Houston, Texas that just, uh, I know every, <laughs> I know everything about every, uh, everything that makes me. And uh, it's, it's good to have it make sense. Uh, I feel like I can move forward now and make better music, be a better son, be a better brother, just, just be a better person to myself, number one. I always say that, man. It, it starts with you. Care for yourself first, and there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. If, 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 if somebody's quiet, check on them. Yeah, yeah, good point. And, and in your song, God of Gun, I know you said that uh, the gun is like a metaphor for the pills that you had in, in yes. your hand, but the angels weren't done. That's, that's one of the things that I take away from that. Yeah. Let's take a little uh, look and listen at a little bit more of God and the Gun right now, and we'll talk about it more on the backside. God or the gun Staring down the barrel looking up You only get to pick one So powerful. Mm. Well, we need to take a short break, but when we come back, our special conversation with Ty Herndon continues. You're watching Out and About today.